In an earlier video, we learnt a quick way to find directions with the help of a needle and some pins. Let us look at another method as per the ancient book Surya Siddhanta. In the third chapter named Tripaksha Adhikar, the first four shlokas describe how to find direction. Place is Pune, India. We are in the northern hemisphere. Let us place a partly cut spoke approximately 6 cm in length at the center of a perfectly leveled plane. With the help of a ruler with holes, we will draw a circle of approximately 10 cm radius. Right now, tip of the shadow is outside the circle. Let us mark the point when it touches the circle in the morning. We will call it S1. It's 9 am. With the movement of the sun throughout the day, orientation as well as length of the shadow will change. Another point is marked when it touches the other end sometime in the afternoon. Now time is almost 3.30 pm. The line connecting these two points S1 and S2 indicates the orientation of east west direction. With this side pointing east and this one pointing west. But as per Surya Siddhanta, lines indicating directions must pass through the center of the nomon or shanko. To achieve this, let us use a compass. We'll draw arc with radius slightly greater than half the distance between these two points. This shape is like a fish and is called Timi in Sanskrit. Joining these two points will give us a line which points to north and south directions. This one passes through the center as well. Same steps can be followed to draw another line which is perpendicular to the north-south line. This line indicates east and west directions. With cardinal directions identified, same steps can be followed again to get the ordinal directions. which are northeast, northwest, southeast and southwest. Directions thus achieved are approximate directions as there is a change in declination of the sun throughout the day. These steps will give you accurate results or directions when carried out on solstices, summer solstice and winter solstice. On these days, change in declination during the day is almost done. Length of the nomon or shanku used in this activity is 6 cm, but a longer one is better. Surya Siddhanta suggests using a shanku of 12 angulas, which is approximately 1 feet or 30 cm. Here is a food for thought. What will be the construction of the same activity if it is performed at the same latitude but different longitude? Or will it change? If the same activity is performed in the southern hemisphere, say at Jakarta, do give it a try. Thank you.